Presto, I just wrote this out very quickly about the Pope. Do you want to hear it? Should I read it to you? Okay. He actually said that maybe I'm not a good Christian or something. It's unbelievable, which is really not a nice thing to say. So it's a response from Donald Trump. It says, if and when the Vatican is attacked by ISIS. You know, ISIS, their primary trophy, very few people know this. I read this about two months ago. Nobody even believed it. Their primary thing, you've seen what they've done all over the Middle East. Their primary goal is to get to the Vatican. That would be their ultimate trophy. They want to do what they did to all of these magnificent artifacts and all of the beautiful museums that they've totally destroyed all over the Middle East, right? They're, and I didn't know this. I read this like four or five months ago. I made mention of it two months ago, and everyone said, what are you talking about? They thought, like, I'm kidding. It's true. And now there are stories about it. Not big stories, but there are stories about it. And I was checked by one of the reporters that said, they don't want to talk about them. Then he called up and apologized. The big thing, they want to get to the Vatican. So if and when the Vatican is attacked by ISIS, which, as everyone knows, is ISIS's ultimate trophy, I can promise you that the Pope would have only wished and prayed that Donald Trump would have been president. Because it's true. It's true. Because this would not have happened. ISIS would have been eradicated, unlike what is happening now, with our all-talk, no-action politicians. That's what's happening now. We, we, we had a General MacArthur. If we had a General George Patton, I mean, they'd be gone before they even got time to go over and uh, check it out, okay? It's a ridiculous situation. The Mexican government and its leadership has made many disparaging remarks about me. See, the Pope was in Mexico. The leadership's meeting. Oh, Donald Trump is a bad guy. He wants to build a wall. He wants to keep illegal immigration. It's terrible. They don't say it that way. They say, he wants people to stop having this and that. Look, I'm wise to them. I respect Mexico. I respect their leadership. Their leadership is much smarter, much sharper than our leadership. And that's the problem. That's the problem. You know, we have a trade deficit with Mexico. Listen to this one. $58 billion. So when I say we're going to build a wall and Mexico's going to pay for it, these politicians all come up and they say, you can't get Mexico to pass it. Yes, I can. They have no idea what I'm even talking about. You people do because you have some business people here, some good business people. Some of them I know. But Mexico's going to pay because the wall is $12 billion, 10 to $12 billion. That's a super job, okay? That's if you do a Trump wall, okay? Really nice job. Nice high wall. <laughs> this is a high nice. This is not a wall that they're going to drive their trucks over. <laughs> now, when we have a deficit of $58 billion, 10 to $12 billion is peanuts, Okay? It's peanuts. That's, not, that's nothing. So the politicians say, how could you possibly say that? You know that now they're all starting to say, you know, he's really right. We're losing a lot of money with Mexico. And that's not including the drug money that's pouring across, which is much more. Okay? Believe me. We get the drugs. They get the cash. So they met with the Pope, and they obviously got to the Pope, and they tell him what a bad guy Donald Trump is. He doesn't know me. And, you know, etc. So let me, the Mexican government and its leadership has made many disparaging remarks about me to the Pope because they want to continue to rip off the United States, both on trade and at the border. That's what they're doing. They're ripping us off. And they understand that I am totally wise to them, and if I'm president, we'll stop it immediately, okay? Immediately. The Pope only heard one side of the story. And he didn't see the crime, the drug trafficking, and the negative economic impact the current policy — I mean, you see what's going on, right? — the current policies have on the United States. So he didn't see the crime, the drug trafficking, the, in, the economic impact is, is horrendous, all right? People can come into our country, folks, but they have to come in legally. They have to come in through a process. We're like an open gate. People just walk across. They walk into our country. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they've come from. And by the way, speaking of that, the migration, the people from Syria, we don't know. Are they ISIS? Are they not? They're not coming into this country, okay? They can't. He doesn't see how. Mexican leadership, and he doesn't understand it, he doesn't see how Mexican leadership is outsmarting our president 
And Obama and our leadership has no clue as to the negotiation or anything else. In other words, we are being so badly out-negotiated by Mexico. Mexico knows that if I win, those days are gone. We're not going to have a $58 billion trade deficit. Not going to happen. We're not going to lose carrier, air conditioner, just move to Mexico. You saw that. We're not going to have Nabisco move their big plants to Mexico. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. We're not going to have Ford building so big $2.5 billion plant. And now, I've been talking about that for a year and a half, now they're doubling down. I read the other day in the paper, they're doubling down. Ford is going in much bigger into Mexico. They took a plant from Tennessee that was going to go to Tennessee, and they went, the plant went to Mexico instead. When are we going to get smart, folks? When are we going to get smart? Got to happen. We can't let this stuff go on because we're losing our jobs. We're losing everything. The Pope isn't being told that. The Pope is being told that Donald Trump is not a nice person, okay? Donald Trump is a very nice person, and I'm a very, I, I am a very nice person. And I'm a very good Christian because the Pope said something to the effect that maybe Donald Trump isn't Christian, okay? And he's questioning my faith. I was very surprised to see it, but I am a Christian. And I'm proud of it. Okay. For a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. I'm proud to be a Christian, and as president, I will not allow Christianity to be consistently attacked and weakened, unlike what is happening now with our current president. Okay? Believe me. No leader, very important, and this has just been given out to the press two seconds ago, no leader, especially a religious leader, should have the right to question another man's religion or faith, especially when they feed all sorts of false information into them. They're using the Pope as a pawn, and they should be ashamed of themselves. That's the Mexican government. They should be ashamed of themselves for doing so, especially when so many lives are involved and when illegal immigration is so rampant and so dangerous and so bad for the United States. Okay? Period. That's it.